all doom and gloom when it comes to COVID-19. Let's talk about that race to find a vaccine that will fight off COVID-19. So the World Health Organization is now calling for equitable access to any new vaccines to ensure they are available to everyone. The WHO plea came at a day after researchers in the United Kingdom signaled that they were moving very close to a possible vaccine. And as Pamela Sigi now reports, the Kenyan government says intense lobbying is already underway to ensure that countries such as Kenya are not left behind. It's no longer a question of if, but when a COVID-19 vaccine will be available. With three promising vaccine candidates from the UK, US and China sprinting ahead in a global race that involves at least 197 potential vaccines at different stages of development. The first two candidates to reach the third and final phase of trials, one from the University of Oxford and pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca, the other from China, both appear safe and produce immune responses, according to preliminary results published in The Lancet. A vaccine candidate from U.S. biotech giant Moderna is heading into phase three trials on Monday after similarly encouraging initial results. As the race for a vaccine intensifies, rich countries are pushing to place advance orders for the inevitably limited supply to guarantee their citizens get immunized first, leaving significant questions about whether developing countries will get any vaccine before the pandemic ends. The more developed, richer worlds where, where, where these products are produced are the ones to benefit first, and we end up in the end of the queue. That is also something that, of course, is of concern with respect to any vaccine that might come out. A cause for concern for the World Health Organization. One of the worrying uh, patterns we see is uh, some countries moving the other direction. And when there is no consensus on having uh, this vaccine a global public good, uh, it could be um, actually be uh, owned by those who have money and those who cannot afford it uh, may not have access to the vaccines. A reason regional and continental bodies in Africa are in talks with the developers of these vaccines and the political leadership in rich countries to strike the all-important deals. I think there is intense uh, diplomatic effort going on to see that there is that level of certain level of equity in terms of the distribution of these vaccines once they come out. And we hope that low and middle income countries, our country included, that we will be among those who will be able to get some doses of those vaccines when they are ready to be used. The World Health Organization is already formulating a distribution framework to ensure fair distribution of the vaccine is beneficial to global economic recovery. Advantage of using fairness or access uh, to also poor countries is the world can really be lifted up and lift itself out of this pandemic together which can speed up the economic uh, recovery. Britain and the United States have sunk millions of dollars into various vaccine candidates, including one being developed by Oxford University and manufactured by AstraZeneca. In return, both countries are expected to get priority treatment. The British government declared if the vaccine proves effective, the first 30 million doses would be earmarked for Britons. Separately, AstraZeneca signed an agreement to make at least 300 million doses available for the U.S., with the first batches delivered as early as October. Pamela Sigi, Citizen TV.